Hey guys, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Meantime and Tactics, where we are working our way towards uh, declaring war on Portugal. Before we do that, though, I can't forget that I have to actually justify the war goal against them. Um, how much is that going to cost me? I'm going to conquer Garda, Porto. These are all areas in Portugal, down to Lisbon. Madeira is an island. Azor is an island. At a minimum, it will be 37 political power to take one... I think there's only, what, one, two, three, four territories in Portugal itself. So these four here would cost me 63. We have six right now. We need to get that up to 63, then justify a war goal. And that's going to be, that's going to take a long time, isn't it? We're not going to be able to declare war for a year. I should have done this earlier. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's remember to do that. We do have one free military factory, so we're up to 10 now. And we're getting... Well, did, what did I decide last time? Building a one of my motorized units, would that really be... Maybe I can do it then. It's a whole year away, right? And we're, right now we have one factor on each. Two surplus eight. We need 300 of the motorized units and 60 light tanks. I think I'm going to bump that up maybe then, like that. Yeah. We're at negative two in tungsten. Um, we have three for use. Okay. Well, let's go with that. Okay, I think that will take care of it. And we'll just go for the next. We'll see what happens once we get up uh, to 63 here. 17 days before we cap out in oil, but I think we're producing... Yep, we are. We're getting a uh, another silo here on February 27th. That's perfect timing, actually. And we are training one unit here, as you can see. And we are also... Wait a minute. You know, we're getting these infantry divisions here. It's pretty slow going, and we only have... 13. We're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Minimum. Why don't we go ahead and set up a brigade as well? I think we can do that. They don't cost that much, right? Um, About 300. Versus then the infantry division, 800. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So we'll train... We'll train two of them, I think, right? There, Madrid. Let's put them there. We have enough equipment. Yeah, we do. Definitely. So we're fine there. Okay. We'll see if we can get enough uh, tank destroyers and motorized. I think we can. It's going to be taking about a year for us to justify that war. Oh, wow. We're not going to be able to declare war until shortly before World War II. We're going to have our own war going on during World War II, right? Uh, improved infantry equipment. Details there. We get soft attack 5. Okay. That's good. So that is that improved infantry equipment. We have support weapons there. And we have the improved here. Working on this one. We are not going to get this uh, Labora Fontberna M38, I don't think. Over here in, in, in industry, we could no conversion. This one might be helpful. Equipment conversion, right? When we get to the next level, that's going to be useful. I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, let's go for that. And we're losing a few resources here and there. Okay. And here is another factory. A civilian factory. Where are we going to put that? Um, what are we going to use? I mean, what are we going to use it for? The next one here. Um, hmm. We have 22 there. Okay. From exports, three. So we can use quite a few. I can put one in Catalonia. Let's do that. Let's put another. Oh, wait a minute. That's not going to help us. We have to put one somewhere else. Maybe down here in Andalusia. Yeah, in Andalusia. Let's do that. Okay. That will take care of that. And now we have 65 political power. We can go ahead and justify a war goal against the Portuguese. Now, I think I only need to take these three here. Another oh, four. One, two, three, four. We need 69. Okay, let's get 69 then. Four more. I need to do it right away. It's going to cost me a lot. We're going to increase war tension also by 9%. Yeah, let's do that. Mainland, Portugal. That's what we're going to go for. Uh, I can't do it yet. Need three more. Oh, wait. Did I miss it? It's gone up now, right? We need 69. We have 71. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Last 345 days. 
Well, we got to do it now, right? Let's go for that. We're justifying it. Good. Missing equipment production. That would be the naval bomber still. Yep, no template. That template, we're at 29.44. When we get to 30, we can do it. And that's fine. We have plenty of time there. We are, in the meantime, uh, producing tank destroyers. We have 21 now. We need 60. And we have how many of the uh, motorized? 49. That's not very many. Hmm. We need 300. Support weapons 2 is completed there. Okay. Now, we have our motorized. We're already done as far as I want to be done with it with the armored units same thing over here with the artillery not gonna do the superior firepower but what we could do is we could do trade interdiction now if I do that what about this one here naval effort okay this one is good but it doesn't give us a boost into the naval doctrine but we should do this one as well well now that I see it three uh, building slots three naval dockyard in Murcia but going back to this here maybe now is the time to start thinking about what we want to do with our fleet when it's ready right we're adding up fuel now so we're gonna have a fleet of submarines and I also want to have maybe some um, do we want destroyers there that I can kind of take care of protecting you know escorting our ships and then have depth charges if they do we have a lot of things here like this one here gives us 12 in damage there instead of 8. Here's a smoke screen. We have to disengage. 20% for any fleet, right? 20 That would be very helpful for anybody. Let's get this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go that. I'm gonna go that way now. So we're gonna be trying to get well all three branches of the uh, military, right? Up to snuff. We'll see how it goes. We are still pretty small, 36 in factories. Once we take Portugal, we might get, you know, a little bit more at least, right? All right, uh, armament effort two is done. That's another factory, right? It is. Should we get the naval effort? I think I want to, because that allows us to build more factories. Or do we want to go down and just get free factories? Well, there's only one left, then it's gonna be civilian there. Yeah, let's do that. One more at least, right? Yep, let's go for that. And we have another military factory, so 10 out of 11. How are we doing on that now? Um, the tank destroyer, we have 28, we need 60. Motorized, we need to bump that up, don't we? For sure. Okay. May, uh, May 19th, 1938, the Panay Incident. American and British gunboats, I've heard of this one, I think, were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front line. I think I saw it on TV. In the war between Japan and China. Okay. So now we're uh, lodging, uh, they are lodging um, complaints. Okay. Does Japan have no limits? No, probably not. Alright, we'll see how that goes. And we do have 30 in experience points. I noticed we've had that for just a couple days there. So now let's go ahead and modify that motorized division template. And it's going to cost us here, but let's do it. Armored Battalion's light tank destroyer is going to be good there, I think. And another light tank destroyer. What does that do to our numbers? Well, we go down by 15 in organization. Not too bad. But in return, soft attack goes up by 14. Hard attack goes uh, up by 32, which is huge. Um, <clears throat> and then this number here, armor, 7.1. What that means is... Unless the enemy, when we attack, have 7.1 or more, we are going to be, uh, they're not going to be able to stop us. And we take a lot less organizational damage. And if you couple that with our speed, I think we're going to be in good shape, right? So let's go ahead and save that. And then I think we should build, well, we should train one, right? Just do one and we'll keep it going. It's going to take forever to do that. We'll prioritize that equipment for that. We don't have quite enough, but we're getting close, right? Motorized, we need 130, we have 134 out of 300. Smoke generators are done. Are we continuing down that path of getting um, our naval? I don't want to miss anything here. You know what? We're 139 days out on fuel. What if we get fuel refining one? That takes a long time, 232 days. But fuel gain per oil is 20%. And if you don't have any fuel refineries uh, over here, 
we're gonna gain that from our trade anyway. That's a pretty good deal. 200 days, though. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna need it eventually, right? So, let's go for that. So now, how long will it be before we are done? Wait a minute. Francisco Franco speaks against Portugal. Does Portugal belong to the Portuguese? Let us ask ourselves a better question. Does the future belong to the Portuguese? Or we strive for greatness and power. They've displayed nothing but hopeless backwards attitudes. Having no history to pride themselves on, they are directionless. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, that's good, yeah. Mm, uh, the future belongs to us. Okay. That's good. Uh, what do we have here? Well, we're going to put him... When he's ready, let's place him right here on the front line. Andalusia. Yep, that's good. And that's going to take us how long? December 17th, 1938. So we're going to be done before the war goal is justified, right? How long is it before it's done? March. Mm. We might be able to get two of them out there. March. Oh, wow. Okay. I was expecting to be attacking like in early 1938 or something like that. But uh, yeah, it didn't happen. We have a few days left here. Okay, that's good. We have to keep an eye on that to make sure we get another silo out if we need to. Building more civilian factories. Yeah, I want to get them up there so we can have a big a big base from which we can build a military factories because we're going to have a lot of them, a lot of options to build, right? In Portugal, maybe down south too in Africa, although maybe not so many there. Construction to what do we get out of that? Construction speed and factory repair speed. I doubt that's a good one. For sure, that is a good one. 1939? Um, no, we don't need that yet. Advanced machine tools, production efficiency cap. Would be nice, but I'm not going to spend anything on that. I could get an uh, synthetic refinery research, and that would be helpful, wouldn't it? But let's return to the naval side of things. That's for the destroyers here. Can get better depth charges there. Hydrophones, uh, subdetection goes up. Also good. But if we go down to submarines, we have basic torpedo right now. So that does 18 in damage. If we go down to this one, that's an improved version, does 27. That's pretty big. But we have to swap them out, right? This one, magnetic detonator, gives us 20% damage right away for everything. Yeah, let's go for this one first. Yeah, I do want to try out the naval a little bit more. Now that I've had that first couple of naval battles that we did against the Republicans, you know. We get another military factory. Yep, we did. So we're done with that. What did we say we were going to do? Well, we could do doctrine effort to go down the land path more. Or flexible navy. That's the one we want to work on, right? Convoy interdiction. Under yeah, that's just a good one. But to do that, we're going to go naval effort, and that will give us three naval dockyards. Let's go for that. That is a pretty good one. Once we get that, we can see about uh, portioning them out here. It's going to be done quite a bit quicker. Well, we have more units. Let's go ahead and put them in that army, and we have one that's ready. Okay. So now we have a few more units. How many do we have now? 17. Not quite enough. We have time to build more, so that's not a problem. Civilian factories. Are we still building civilian? Or are we going to go for a another silo? We may want to do that. Yeah, let's do another silo instead. Yep. Oh, one military factory. Where do we put that one? I'm thinking we should still go for motorized. Yes, we should. Because 108 below what we need. We already have enough light tank destroyers. Maybe enough for another unit. You know, by the time the war starts, I think. Improved equipment conversion. And that gives us conversion speed bonus, 40%. It's going to be helpful later on. Formation flying. That was our um, air doctrine we did. The battlefield support. Fighter detection, 15%. And air wing mission experience gain. Fighter detection is very good. Yeah, that was very good. Don't think I want to go down for this one, though. 232 Air support mission efficiency is good. Hmm, that is a good one. Improved tactics for planes doing close air support. So the ones we have, we have, uh, how many do we have of those? 50? Hmm. 232 days will give us time. Just enough, right, before the war starts. Let's do it. Let's take this one. 
And then we have one more. Wait, which one did we get last time? So we have four slots now. Okay, we have four slots. Um, the fourth one... <clears throat> What do we do? We could go for synthetic oil experiments. That would be good. Getting more oil is always better. And we're getting another uh, fuel uh, silo, right? It's also going down the path here of getting more, like more torpedo launchers here, preparing for the future, basically. We're not going to use it just yet, though. I think I want to go for the oil refinery. We'll see. It's going to take a while there to do, but okay. And it looks like we have enough planes now. We have uh, planes in reserve. We have uh, 50 of the support planes. Okay. So we can create another one. Or we could go and just bump it up right here. Let's do that. 50 more up to 100. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. You know what? What we could do as well. We could create another one of these motorized divisions. If I do that. We have almost equipment we need there anyway. Well, not enough. And then they can start uh, practicing. Not quite yet, maybe. Yeah, well, actually, they would be, wouldn't they? February 1st. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Then we have two of them. They're going to um, come up here in southern uh, Andalusia. Okay, good. They're still working away there. And I'm waiting for more units. We're going to have quite a few units, actually, when the, when the battle, when the war starts here. And we can go over the numbers then, too. How are we doing on the uh, uh, justification here of war? March 17th. Yeah, it's looking good. Nothing else we can do there. Free civilian factory. Okay, we're building that fuel silo. That is good. I can't build the refinery yet. I mean, soon I can do it. Are we getting another civilian factory? We might want to do that. Because then we can always trade. Maybe we can trade. We can trade for more oil and just pump it in. So maybe we'll do that. That is cap there, cap, cap. Put one here. And eventually, maybe, I'll, maybe I will do more infrastructure. I don't know. It's on a per state, right? Basis. So we have to think about it. And it's August twenty eighth now, nineteen thirty eight. Francisco Franco questions the motives of Portugal. Yeah, we're making the claim here. There's no doubt that Portugal is preparing for war, right? The changes in economic policy makes it plain to see that Portuguese are not a people of peace. Yep, um, okay, that's fine. So we might get it done quicker, actually. We do have 174 points now. Should we go ahead and increase our army size? We only have 169,000 men there, free. Limited conscription? Let's do it. Now, how long will it be? Did this improve our time at all? No, March 17th, anyway. Okay. Didn't really matter there, I guess. Okay, and we do have a civilian factory again available. Under Lucia, 25 there. Okay. Hmm, where do we have 100%? We don't. 90 in Granada, though, and six more to build. I'm going to build that, and then we'll build a, a couple more there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, national focus completed. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, we're getting a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, Munich agreement. German demands for Sudeten territory in Czechoslovakia. Okay, they want the Czech part of, of Czechoslovakia. Have, ident uh, have intensified. So they're going to take that soon. Yep, so uh, an agreement was... Well, okay, yeah, that's right. The Munich agreement. Germany is going to take... They're going to annex that area. Okay. World news. France and Britain... Okay. France and Britain... Announced an alliance, and Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. That's the World War I um, uh, agreement, and they obviously didn't get a good deal there, they thought. And Hungary joined the Axis. Okay. National focus completed, naval effort, and so we got more dockyards, three of them. Before we move on, let's go ahead and get them set up. What do we want? Um, this one takes a long time, time to get. You know what? I'm going to get one, two there, and then one here. And now we'll be quicker to get them out there. That's a, uh, a nice one to get. That's actually a um, a cruiser there. Okay, what else do we have? National focus is not set. Flexible navy would be nice to get, right? 
or we could go for construction effort in La Mancha. Two building slots, two civilian factories. War Doctrine. Yeah, I'll go for that. Yep, let's go for that. Okay, Francisco Franco speaks out against Portugal again. The future belongs to national Spain. Yeah, again, he's doing that. Okay, what do we have going on here? We have two of them. They're neck and neck here, actually. We're almost ready there. Yeah, that's going to be available, both of them. When is it? February 1st. Yeah, it's looking good there. And in on uh, October 22nd, Francisco Franco angered by Portuguese posturing. Those naive citizens of national Spain who imagine the Portuguese as a people of peace are entirely out of touch with reality. Okay, we must ready the people for war, but I don't think it actually modifies the date. No, March 17th is still. And then he speaks out against Portugal again. Hmm, okay. It's right there. Yep, March 17th. And we have another civilian factory. So we have 26 there. Okay, yep, where do we put that factory? We're building three in Granada. Okay, that is good. So three there. I think I want to go for maybe a little bit more of the... Um, Infrastructure, right? Where are we close? Where do we have a lot we can expand? Six more here. Six more there. It's good. We'll go with that. Yep, that's good. And we have enough now available planes in reserve to add more. We have 82. You know what I want to do, probably? What if we switch them over to use instead fighters? Okay, fighter one. Maybe. Should we do that? So right now we can bump this up to 150. Yep, without a problem, 150. Do we need more uh, these fighters? We might want to do that. Let me take a look at the production uh, very quickly here. We have three. We're making four or five a week. We have 34 to spare. That's plenty. If we switch that off. On the other hand, having these are very good. We have very high efficiency now. Looking at this, let's go look at the situation there. So we're at CAS 1. CAS 2, you know what? Um, we may want to keep them and just have a lot of support, close air support, and then fill in with fighters, right? Let's let's keep that going. We can upgrade them later, maybe. Um, 1940, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll keep it at that. So what do we have? Construction effort two. Oh, perfect. We got two civilian factories. That is excellent. Now, secret weapons and nuclear effort. I don't think I need these, right? Um, you get four times... Well, wait a minute. Four times 100% research bonus for electronics, nuclear technology, and rocket technology. Now, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Nuclear effort. Yep. One times 200% uh, years ahead. Or... Extra research. Look at this one. More factories than 50. We have actually 45 now. That's tempting. But I'm going to go for flexible navy. That's going to help us out right away, I think. When the... Well, I don't know if it's going to help us out right away when the war starts. But it's going to give us an edge, right? And we're very close now to getting our motorized division out there. Uh, we're about six days away. But we do have 150 points. Do I want to do anything else? We have limited conscription. Political advisor. I don't think I need anybody here right now, right? Ship designer. That would give us naval research speed 10%. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Industrial concern, though. Industrial speed. Electronics as well. Now, we could get a chief of air force. That gives us air accidents chance minus 10%. That would be very helpful. Or ground support. Air superiority 15%. You know, I might want to get that. He's a genius, right? Let's take him. And let's wait here for... Uh, get our first unit out. He's going to come out here. And then... Well, let me go ahead and organize the units along the front here. And it is um, December 21st. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria now. So that is interesting. What happened to Italy over here? They never took Albania. Never took Albania. Okay. Okay. And Yugoslavia is right there. They're going to claim Bulgaria there. Okay. And what about over in the east? Oh, look at Japan. 
Yep, they're doing well. That's going to help us, right? I think it will. And we are telling our troops here to uh, move to the border. And they're going to go. The AI is going to place them. They're not going to modify them a little bit. Because we have one here. I'm going to keep him down here for now. And let's see what we get. So he's putting two infantry units there. One brigade over here. That's not very good, I don't think. One brigade over there by itself. Um, that may not be the best. We're, we have a couple more, though, that are training right now. So we're going to get more out there, I think. January 7th. We're very close now to getting uh, war, declaring war here. Two months to go. Magnetic detonator. And that would be a torpedo attack. Great. For our destroyers, right? So that's going to be good. Oh, destroyers and subs, right? Obviously subs as well. That's this one here. We can also upgrade the ship torpedo launcher. But what about up here? We have the smoke generator. If we upgrade depth charge, then we can uh, take on submarines a little bit better. Or, what does this one give us? Passive sonar, hydrophones, sub detection. Hmm. It is, how long is this? 78 days and 194 days. Let's go with this one. Passive sonar. Okay, that's good. And on January 22nd, we got a few of refining one. Now we can build... Um, no, we can't. I was thinking a synthetic oil refineries. Okay, fuel gain per oil. Good. 142 days there. Fuel gain from refineries, 10%. Okay, that's good. We're getting this one anyway. It is 1939, though, so we could get... We could do something about, like, efficiency and improve that. Or max factors in a state, 20%. Factor output, 15 that's good. Let's get it. And just a couple days later, on the 25th of January, we got a Flexible Navy. Flexible Navy will give us two times 100% research bonus for what we are doing, I hope, right? Didn't we go down that path? I think we did. Now it's time to go for Doctrine Effort, I think. Yeah, Army Experience plus 5 as well. So, let's see. 100% there and we go here we're gonna get what are we gonna get then um 150 percent there okay oh no that's a spend 150 and get a boost to that okay so where do we get the boost for that we talked about hmm i don't see it now well we'll see what we get the next research done and the germans uh claims memo and that would be in lithuania They've given in to German ultimatum, demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of Memel. Yep, it's right up here, right? Königsberg, their Memel. That's just one territory, I guess, up here. Foreign claims by Lithuania. But they got that, so they got a port there now in Memel. Yeah, level one. Yeah, it's something they got for free, actually. And now we finally have both of our motorized divisions down here. You can see them down there. Now, it's going to be producing more, and the problem with that is that um, we're not going to be using up our reserves here, right? We have 24 light tanks. That's good. 58 motorized. Hmm. Okay, well, it's going to be enough, I think, right? And over here, we have only one unit left that is training, and then we can send them away. And these are not moving anywhere. I'm going to send them down. Hmm. Do we want to have one up here? I think we do. That is the two, the one, oh, two of them there. Okay, we'll take one down here then. Then a brigade. We'll send them down there. Okay, now we'll see. Um, so now, how long do we have until the war comes here? March 17th. It's one month to go. Anything we need to consider here? We are ready here with our um, unit here. This one is not, they're not yet uh, attached to the army, but they're pretty good here. We can take a look at them here in the template, and they have... Yeah, they're looking good. They're looking very good. Look at that. Maxed out. They're going to have a, a commander. This commander is what? Him here. He is a brilliant strategist. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to be a, um, you know, pincer. Army reassignment. Pincer leader experience factor, 100%. Trained as an armor officer. You know what we'll do? We'll make them put them in a special army. Let's take them. And we'll take two of them. And move them here. 
And we're not going to have teal. We're going to have to make them red. And we have this guy here. He's level 1, but still pretty good, right? And if you look at the details on him... Wow, he's really close. He's going to be level 2 very, very soon. Okay, good. So he's ready to go, and he's going to be part of that as well. So now... There, okay. So that's going to be good. The two of them are going to attack on their own, right? We could take one of the brigades as well. No, we don't need to do that. I don't think so. So in one month, let's declare war. But before we do that, on the 21st of February, we have synthetic oil experiments. And I would like to build... Oh, and dive bombing. I would like to build a refinery. Let's do that. So we got dive bombing as well. Dive bombing is uh, here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Level 2 there. Okay, good. So that will give us a boost when we're doing uh, close combat support on the airfield. Or on the, on the battlefield. So we got a synthetic refinery here. We can build that now. That's a shared building, I believe. There. It's going to give us one rubber. And then um, fuel gain 48. Not a huge amount, right? Right now, how much are we gaining here? We're gaining um, from the oil 460. Mm, okay. Well, we'll build one. It's a shared building, so we can put it anywhere we want. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit slow to get going there. Somewhere where we don't really... Well, no, it matters because we're going to use a civilian factory to do it. Uh, we don't want to put it on the coast there, do we? And these are slow to do it. Uh, hmm. 100%. We'll put it on the Lucia. It's on the coast, but let's do it. So that will be a little while before we get that. Should we move it up, maybe? If we move it up... We have only 91 days away from maxing out our silo. we got to get another one. I think, right? We'll do that and move that one up to second. No? Not second. First. Let's do that. Okay. Dive bombing was done. Oh, did we get two of them? Yeah, we got two of them. Oh, yeah, we got the oil experiments as well. Okay. So what do we do? Dive bombing is here. Doctrine. I don't want to go to this one. This too, takes too long. Ground support 20% though. Wow. That's a good one. But it's going to be too long before anything, before we get anything done there. It's 1939 though. So if we go here, 1939, we could upgrade our weapons. 158 days. Nothing we get now is really going to be in the battle, right? I don't think it will be. But we're going to need it. So let's go ahead and get that one. When the war starts, we're going to need that. Uh, what else do we have? Well, artillery, improved artillery is going to be helpful. And if we have, if you have to fight the allies, they're going to maybe have air, right? So we should have an anti-air as well. We have the level 1 anti-air, but having this one anti-air upgrade would be nice as well. But let's get this one first. 78 days. And we have another ships now. Oh, even more. 150. Should we make it 200? I think 200 is not unreasonable. Yeah, we only have 50 fighters, though. 50 fighters is not much. And we are building, but I don't want to build too many of them, right? Because we're going to upgrade it to the next level of fighter at least. Maybe we want to do that now. Anyway, we have 104 there. Oh, we have a ton of them. We have a ton of these close air support guys. We can switch them off later, maybe. Very efficient now, too. So we're building this one. Do I want to switch over to fighters instead? Instead of artillery or this one? I think I do because I need to start building them, right? So go for uh, 1936 fighter. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, that's good. And that actually means we can put more planes. Right, we can do this one here. We can put... Um, 250. Did we get 250 right away? Yeah, we did get 250 right away. Okay, so we have a lot of them here. Uh, can I see how many? Uh, yeah, we have 250. Wow. So we still have some in storage to take, I take it then. Yeah, 10. Okay. Naval bomber still low. Wow, we can really use those uh, close air support. Unless he has a lot of fighters, then we might be out of luck, right? But I don't think he will. 76 there. Okay, he questions that again. 
and 76, 75 days now. And the Lucia, yep, you're getting that uh, silo there and then another refinery. Good. Yeah, you should make it. Two days to go before we have the war. Wait a minute. Right there. We're done. Okay, now we should take care uh, advantage of this now. Let's take this unit, move him over here. Okay, now we have two armies. We are ready here. Looking good. If we take him, and where do we move him? Well, I've kind of sprinkled. What do we have here? Two units? Oh, two of those mm, mediocre ones. Yeah, okay, we'll send down this one here then as well. Let's do that. And it's time to declare war. I think we have nothing to lose on that, right? Let's go for that. Declare war. Conquer. Yep. We're not going to call allies. We're going to just go ahead and do it. 2% war tension on that. National Spain declared war on Portugal. And now uh, we have to decide what to do with our air force. Well, we know we have a lot of planes there. We'll see what happens. But we have to do it next time. Out, out of time here, guys. So come back later and we'll continue with Hearts of Iron 4. Bye.